Boleh dengar suara ya? Boleh, boleh. Jadi hari ini kita masuk terus chapter yang baru. Just in that thing about Eh, kenapa bermasalah pula? Tadi okey je. Okay, uh, sementara saya setting apa phone ni, kita boleh mula dululah. Tapi partisipan baru berapa orang ni? Baru 35.
Alamak Saya tak maulah Tadi dah elok saya buat Cik lah. Tak jadi besar. Okay, tak berjaya. Okay, Assalamualaikum dan selamat datang. So, jadi hari ini saya akan uh, saya akan masuk chapter baru. So, chapter Oscilloscope. Okay, okay. Eh. Boleh dengar suara ya? Eh? Dengar tu. Tapi tender hari ni dah close lah doktor. Ha? Apa dia? Eh, tender hari tender. ni dah close? Uh, hmm. Bukan dah close. Saya belum open. Oh, ok. Uh, saya belum open. Sebab nanti uh, saya nak open lah. Saya, saya nak open at tender time dua kali. Saya buat dua kali lah. So for, for apa ni? For introduction, for introduction, saya akan beritahu um, the introduction to to cathode ray oscilloscope. So before we apa, before the digital age, uh, yang screen digital ni lah, LCD apa semua. So we are using a cathode ray oscilloscope. So for this screen, normally you can uh, found on old television set ataupun dekat mana lagi ya? Eh? Dekat TV, uh, normally dekat oscilloscope pun banyak lah. So the oscilloscope using uh, same technology, the old, the old oscilloscope, the cathode ray oscilloscope.
Okay, for cathode ray, cathode ray oscilloscope, kita ada um, berapa ni? We have a few few major subsystem. Maknanya dalam sistem oh. tu, dalam for CRT, so we have we have a cathode ray tube. Ha, dia ada tube, tube tabung dia tu lah. And then we have Uh, amplifier, vertical amplifier, horizontal, sweep generator, trigger oscilloscope dengan power supply. Okey, ini gambaran dia lah ni. Tapi gambar dia tak cantik lah. CRT CRT OC oscilloscope Tak keluar tak keluar Tu diagram Okay, ni tak keluar kat skrin. Jadi kalau dia banyak lah. So you can see image from the tube is that if you can clock with so this is a tube and then the fact Cuma cuma kita nampak tu empat segi kan sebab kos di dalam batu banyak segi. That's why screen tu nampak empat segi. Biasanya kat ujung-ujung tu kita akan nampak dia bulat-bulat sikit kan. And then the other main component is a deflection plate. So a deflection plate have X plate and Y deflection plate. Okay, selain daripada plate, saya punya elektron gun. Ini sangat ada elektron gun ni. This is elektron gun. And then this is elektron gun. Betul suara tu tu. Apa dia? Suara putus-putus. Putus-putus lah, internet connection. Putus-putus. Macam mana? Sekarang putus-putus lagi. Suara okay. kamu pun putus-putus okay. juga. Okay. Sekarang okey lah? Okey, okay. saya ulang balik. So, I repeat. So, the uh, main component. Main component. Okay. So, the thing is, an isolator with a person, person, person material lah. So, when, when the electron hit, it communicate the screen, then kita akan dapat a glow, dia bercahaya. 
Let the men, let the men who want to be this. Reflection ni apa yang bangsa Melayu? Reflection Pemantul eh? Pemesong lah, pemesong uh, Pemesong Dan dia ada Terlengkapan Terlengkapan Dia ada Terlengkapan Dan So dia Dia tu Tu awal selesai So if you can see, this is green. Deflation plate, dia mana ni? So this one uh, for ni yang tegak punya. So this one for vertical, vertical deflection plate. This one for horizontal deflection plate. Uh, yang tulis ni. Horizontal. And then this is vertical. And... And, and gun ni, dia, dia punya gun mana gun. So this one is electron gun. So how, how, macam mana dia boleh menembak ni? How the electron is shooting to the screen? So the screen, the screen is connected with the high voltage and high voltage high voltage dc uh, sini dia tulis uh, 12 kilovolt dc and then dia connected dengan uh, kat sinilah the strong gun so when you apply the high voltage kat sini when you apply the high voltage so inside inside a tube this is a vacuum. Uh, dalam tu ada vacuum. So because of the high voltage, so electron here from the gun is full. Dia kena tarik lah. So dia kena tarik, is full and then the electron will hit the will hit to the phosphorus screen. Uh, bila dia dah kena kat sini, when electron hit the phosphorus screen, then it will have a light glow. Dia bercahaya. Dia nampak lah. So normally, uh, normally the electron will, will travel at straight line. Uh, dia jalan garis lurus lah. Dia tak ada bengkok-bengkok. Sebab dalam tu vacuum kan. So how, how this all this oscilloscope uh, can display the image can display the the waveform image Okay for example this is screen screen Lah. So this is gun lah. Gun macam mana nak tunjuk. So this one is electron electron gun. So electron we travel we travel in straight line. Ha, macam tu. So this is electron. Dia jalan lah. Dia menembak. Ha, dia kena screen lah. Kena dekat. Kena dekat tengah ni. Jadi uh, biasa you pernah main dengan laser pointer tak? Laser pointer pernah tengok? Pernah guna? Pernah. No. 
nak kan? Ha, laser ni macam uh, dia laser lah. Uh, bila you tembak laser, when you uh, kita panggil, kita tembak laser ni, dia akan uh, dia akan bercahaya macam saya tunjuk pen ni lah. And then, when you move move out and down, uh, laser tu akan naik. Uh, dia akan naik, 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 naik. Dalam, dalam bentuk satu titik lah. One by one. Dot by dot, uh, if you move uh, laser up, up and down. Sama juga if you move uh, horizontally, so the laser will display uh, a single dot of a light. Uh, macam tu. But if you move uh, faster, <coughs> very fast, then you will have a line. Macam tu. Betul tak? <coughs> kita akan nampak lain lah kalau kita buat cepat betul okay. tu ha, betul kan ha, dia dia pun, ha, kita pun kita buat melintang kita akan dapat lain so how to display a sine wave so to display a sine wave <coughs> for example lah sine wave for example if you want to display The sine wave like this. Apa you nak kena, you nak, apa you motion you nak kena, nak kena gerakkan laser tu macam mana? Apa motion dia? Kalau kita atas turun naik, turun naik, dia nampak satu line lah. But if you move, if you move uh, horizontal and vertical, then you will display a sine wave. Hmm, macam tu, saya nak. Tapi benda ni, this uh, this thing will happen in in uh, very very fast. Kalau kita buat slow slow, if you buat if you doing slowly, and then you will have a a single dot, single dot macam tu. Ah ini 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 so this one is uh, um, the principle of uh, principle lah. The, the principal concept but how to accomplish uh, this concept so that's why we are that's why we we need a def deflection plate uh, ini so this one is a deflection plate Okay, the concept, the principle of uh, deflection plate is when you apply the voltage, positive and negative, uh, you apply the DC voltage dekat plate ni. So, when you apply, apa akan terjadi? What will happen to the electron beam? So, this is uh, electron beam. Dia akan ke atas. Ah, dia kena tarik lah. So the electron will deflect, deflect like this. Or if you apply a negative voltage, if you apply negative, the di bawah, ke bawah. Ah, if you apply negative, um. Uh, uh, the electron beam will deflect uh, ke bawah lah deflect uh. so uh, so this is uh, by using a uh, apa benda ni a fit DC, DC supply so when you replace the the fit DC supply with the with a sine wave lah. So this power supply you will replace dengan a sine wave like this. Apa tak akan jadi? So electron beam will deflect up and down. Ha, dia akan naik, turun naik lah. Turun naik, turun naik, turun naik. Because of the 
of the apa benda ni of the wary wary kita panggil apa ni because of a wary voltage value of the of the sine wave dia berubah the sine the voltage of the sine wave is increasing increasing and decreasing ha, dia naik dia turun naik turun then uh, the the uh, the shape that will display to the screen will be will be straight line like that then to to introduce the benda ni the time scale ha uh, ini time so this is time so you will need um, another plate Dah ada delete lagi satu lah. Ni semak delete lah dulu. Alamak tak boleh lah. Delete. Delete. So we have a second plate. Yang tu eh. Ni delete dulu lah. Uh, plate ni ada dua lah ni. Let's uh, We have another. Ya yeah, macam tu lah lebih kurang. Besar lah saya nak lukis. So then we apply the same. The same uh, voltage. Kita apply voltage kat sini. So we apply the voltage at uh, ini kita panggil apa? Melintang. Horizontal plate. So when you apply the voltage um, at a horizontal plate and then the electron beam will move at a horizontal. Uh, macam tu. So macam mana you nak you nak hasilkan a sine wave shape? So what type of the of the DC supply? DC supply you yang guna guna ni. Kalau you guna fix, ha, deflection tu akan keras sajalah duduk satu tempat. Jadi you kena letak sebenarnya a triangular shape like this. Okay. Macam mana pula tu? Triangular. So for example, you apply the beam is a start here. Ha, macam tu. So beam start at this point. Point number one. Okay. Point number one. And then you increase the voltage. Okay. Increase the voltage at point number two. So you increase at V1. So because of the of uh, you increase the voltage so the beam we we move to this point uh, dekat nombor 2 and then you increase lagi you increase number 3 so this one we this one we 3 lah ni v2 uh, jadi point dia akan bergerak nombor 3 jadi bila dah sampai hujung Dah sampai ujung kan? Sampai ujung, kat sini lah. Jadi kita kena patah balik lah. Jadi dah habis screen ni, dah habis jalan mati dah kan? So we have to return back to to the left. That's why, that's why the voltage is uh, we decrease to zero. Immediately we decrease uh, to zero. To zero again. And then increase slowly. And then this waveform is repeated. So if we have a straight line, horizontal straight line, kita akan dapat macam ni lah. Dia akan bergerak. So the electron uh, beam will move like this. Uh, bergerak like macam ni. It move like this and then and then we turn back to the left and then slowly in, uh, slowly increase to the right. Macam tu. 
So if this thing moving faster, you akan nampak uh, you can see the horizontal line macam ni, the horizontal line. Macam ni lah dia akan nampak dia bergerak. But when you apply the sine wave, macam ni, sine wave increasing, decreasing, increasing, decreasing, simultaneously with the uh, a triangular shape, then you will have a shape of sine wave. Macam itulah. Ini sine wave naik, triangular pun naik. Ha, dia akan naiklah, naik sama-sama. Dia turun, dia turun. Macam itu. Okay. Saya pun tak kerti lah nak explain lebih-lebih. Macam tu je lah konsep dia. Okay eh. Lagi apa benda ni? Okay, habis uh, konsep. Uh, konsep. Jadi chapter oscilloscope ni kita lebih kepada kita lebih kepada nak buat measurement menggunakan oscilloscope. Yang saya geram ni, saya punya oscilloscope ni tak boleh nak tunjuk pula. Okay, this is uh, the picture, the picture of uh, modern oscilloscope. So this one is digital oscilloscope. Okay, analog. Eh? Okay, analog. Sorry. So this is analog oscilloscope. So ini is a CRT, CRT screen. So if um, the control panel for oscilloscope. So with this one we have one. Kita kena ada. We have a scale. This is vertical scale. So the control, the knob control for vertical scale is ah, ini. Ah, ini is uh, vertical scale, vertical scale knob. And then kita ada, then we have um, time scale ataupun horizontal scale. So the time scale is this one. So this is time scale. Time scale. No. Okay, for the for vertical scale, kita panggil sebagai. So we we know uh, known as a vote vote per division. Ini itu untuk vertical scale. Kalau for time scale, uh, this is benda uh, time lah time time per division. So time for example, um, time millisecond per division. Kalau for vote division, uh, two vote, two vote per division. Jadi apa maksudnya per division ni? Apa makna dia ni? Apa makna? Ha, ini, ini. So if you can see ini, if you can see this, this box. This one is one division. Ini. Division, kita ada dua lah. Horizontal and vertical. This one is one division. Satu kotak ni. Satu kotak ni, satu division. For example, if you want to measure this waveform. 
nak measure ni. Cuba kita ukur we pick dia berapa. So what is we pick? Berapa division dia? Ha, tengok. 1.5. 1.5 kan? Ha, ini. So one division. Ini satu kotak. One division. Kat sini separuh lah. Kosa. So division dia. Uh, we, uh, we pick is 1.5 division. Okay. For example the knob. The control knob is 2 volt, 2 volt per division. And then we pick is 1.5 multiply with 2 volt per division. So we pick is 2 kali 1.5 dapat 3 volt. Mm -hmm. uh, we pick is equal 3 volt. And then for... for uh, itu untuk apa tegaknya horizontal uh, for, for horizontal for horizontal for time so this one how many how many division ha ni susah ni kira ni satu ni satu dua kat sini berapa ni uh, 0.5 5 sini 0.5 lah so one two Uh, three lah. Uh, for period, period. For period. One cycle lah period. For one cycle time. So this is T. One cycle. Uh, three division. So if, if, if the time scale is one millisecond. So a T is a three three multiply one millisecond. Dia akan dapat three millisecond for 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 period. Okay, lagi apa dah kira ni? So, uh, from T, uh, from T you can calculate, uh, you can calculate frequency. Frequency is 1 over T. 1 over 3 millisecond. Kira lah berapa? 1 bahagi 3 milli. Oh, 3, 3, 3. 3, 3, 3.3. First. So from from we pick we can calculate VRMS. So three three divide by square root two. So RMS is two point one two VRMS. Uh, macam tu lah. Senang ni lah. Okay, but now, now they, we have digital oscilloscope. Ha, digital oscilloscope, gambar dia macam ni. So, this is image uh, from the digital oscilloscope. Ha, jadi, apa yang kita ada? So, we have uh, the waveform. Ni. Lagi apa kita ada? Hmm. So we have ini. What is this? Channel. What is this? Ialah channel apa benda dia tunjuk? Ah <laughs> uh, satu volt per division. Uh, so this is a uh, volt per division. Ini 100 ke 1 ni ha? 1.00. Ah 
Uh, so this one is one vote per division. So for channel one, channel one is equal one vote. Channel two, uh, one one vote, one vote per division. So this one is time. Uh, time ni ada dua ni. Ini ke ini? Mana satu ni? Yang... Uh, yang inilah. Enak. So this is time scale. So the value is 200 microsecond per division. So, uh, so uh, calculate this waveform. Ini oscilloscope ni memang masalah. So, the final year pun uh, apa? Rubber lah. So, what is uh, we pick? For channel one, channel one dulu. So if you can see, so this is zero, zero volt lah, center line. So the center line is not balanced, positive and negative. So uh, difficult to to measure with me. So. Yeah. So we have to measure we peak to peak. So this is we peak to peak. Berapa dia punya tu? Berapa division ni? Ini satu, satu, satu. Ini, ini lapan lah. Zero point eight. Zero point eight. For this one. Uh, 0 0.5 So total 1 plus uh -oh. 0 0.5 1 plus 0 0.8 Jadi berapa ni? 2.3 2.3 uh, 2.3 2.3 Division So for we pick is 2.3 Division kali dengan how many volt per division? One volt. Ah, ini. So one volt per division. We just multiply one volt per division. So our value is 2.3 volt. We pick. Then we, so not, not we pick. We pick to pick. Ah, ini. Pick to pick ni. Then we RMS. We pip to pip bahagi dua. Bahagi punca dua. 2.3 kali bahagi dua. Bahagi dua. Kita dapat 0.81 volt. Ha, gitu. Then uh, period T. T, uh, T, T, T nak kira dari mana ke mana ni. One cycle, one cycle. One cycle kat sini lah pun boleh. So this is T. You buat. Satu period you, you boleh pilih lah mana-mana you, you suka. Uh, jadi asal dia nampak satu period. Uh, kalau ini saya pilih kat sini lah. So T. <laughs> Berapa, berapa ni? Usaha ke ni? Lima. Tiga, empat. Lima. Satu. Enam. Satu, dua. Tiga. Ha, ini berapa ni? Usang poin sembilan. Sembilan. Ini, ini ada satu lagi ni. Hmm. Satu. Satu, dua, tiga, empat. Kat sini, 0.1. So, T is 0.1 plus 0.9 plus 4. 
Five. Five division. So, 40 is uh, five. Five division. Kali dengan time. Time is 200 micro per division. 200 micro. Jadi seribu lah. Lima kali dua hmm. ratus. So, one millisecond. One millisecond. So F one of the T. Seribu kan? Eh? Satu bahagi seribu. Seribu. Seribu lah. Seribu satu kilohertz. Satu. 1 kilohertz frequency kilohertz Okay itu simple saja So another problem is digital oscilloscope There is many model there is many brand and then the manufacturer is Suka hati dia lah, dia nak tulis kat mana kan? Uh. Depend on manufacturer, where to to label the work division. So for this case, uh, this one is uh, 500. For work division for channel 1, this one. 500 micro volt. And then for time, uh, ini mana nak cari time? Ada banyak benda kat sini. Ini, 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 ini. ini. Uh, so... So this uh, the time is normally this one. So if you can see uh, the unit for time, microsecond or millisecond. So that means this is this is scale for time division. Ni yang lain lain ni. So just ignore. Apa lagi? Cuba kita tengok Google. Google nak cari apa? Oscilloscope. Oscilloscope. Match. Digital oscilloscope image. Eh, Apa dia? Apa dia? So, if you can see uh, digital wave, wave. So, okay, for example, channel one is one more. Okay. Doktor, suara doktor sangkut-sangkut sikit doktor. Sangkut lagi, sangkut sikit. Doktor, suara doktor sangkut-sangkut sikit. 
Sangkut sebab buka Google tu uh, Sangkut lah Mungkin lah mungkin Okay. Ya, yeah, saya nak on Nak on dekat handphone boleh kita? At this device Yo Macam mana nak besarkan benda ni ya? Share screen ke? Tutup dulu lah, share screen ni hmm. Nampak tak gambar sur skot saya tunjuk ni? Uh, nampak tak tu? Nampak besar ke kecil? Uh, besar, besar. Besar eh? Sebab saya bercakap eh, dia jadi besar. Uh, Sebab uh. saya kat sini nampak kecil je. Uh, okay. So, ini oscilloscope. Uh, oscilloscope lah ni. Uh, ini benda ni lah. Ni. ni yang digital eh, Doktor? Uh, ini digital. Ini yang kecil. Yang kecil, yang kecil punya lah. Dia ada yang besar. Macam size lah ada. So ini saya display, uh, I display uh, um, the test signal, dia ambil kat sini, the test signal from the oscilloscope kat sini. So the value is 5 volt, 5 volt 1 kilohertz. So if you can see, uh, ini from the oscilloscope, you can see this one, nampak ni, 2 volt ni nampak? Nampak, nampak. Uh, 2 volt. So this is for for channel 1 of vote division. So if I change to uh, ni saya tukar kepada channel 2, I change the probe to channel 2. Uh, I have to turn on channel 2. So you can see uh, channel 2. Uh, channel 2 dia warna biru tu lah. So for channel 2 kita kena trigger dulu. So one, this is channel 2. So if I change the, the vote division, nampak ni? Saya tukar eh. Ha, ini channel channel 1. So this is for channel 2, warna biru. The blue. Okay, I change. So I increase. Increase a vote division. Apa jadi? So I increase vote division for channel 2. Now is 2 vote. I increase to 5 vote. Nampak tu? Reform tu akan jadi besar. Nampak? Saya decrease to 2 volt. Dia akan kecil. 5 volt, 10 volt makin kecil. Sebab apa jadi macam tu? Because of the volt division tu kecil. Kan? For example this one, uh, 1 volt. The vote division. But the signal is. Signal here is 5 volt. That's why. Unit. Uh, berapa? 5 lah. Unit 5. 5 division. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 division. To display the whole 5 volt. Uh, macam tu. Then if you decrease the vote division to. To 5 volt. Ini. Vote division to 5 volt. 
So you only need one division to display a 5 volt signal. Boleh nampak konsep dia? Nampak je. Nampak. So same thing for for time scale. So this one uh, time scale. Saya pusing ni. Saya pusing. So you I turn the time scale. You can see the display will change. Jadi for, for same signal I need for same signal you can see it get smaller it becomes smaller 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 of because of the of the time scale time scale increase so i increase time scale ke naik kan ni ha nampak dia dah panggil halus so in order to see a detail a detail waveform ni you have to decrease decrease. Maksudnya time scale tu nak kena lagi halus. Barulah nampak. So for this case, I increase to 500 microsecond. Nampak banyak kan? Kalau kita nak nampak satu kotak je. Macam tu. Kita kena tukar kepada 100. Kalau you naik lagi, turunkan lagi time dia ni. Hmm, nampak itu je lah. Straight line aja. Okay. So itu konsep. The concept. Uh, apa benda ni? Vote division and time division. So for the same the same image. You can increase the scale. I know. So. Dia boleh naik besarkan ke kecilkan. Nah, ini yang channel 1 kita boleh off. And then for for digital oscilloscope we have we have automatic measurement. Kita boleh measure. We can measure frequency automatically. Channel 2. Channel 2. See? See the value is one one kilohertz, one kilohertz. And then kita boleh tambah lagi lah apa benda kita nak uh, channel. Uh, we can measure period automatically. So this is uh, advantage of uh, digital oscilloscope. Okay. Then we return to sikit lagi. Kita nak habiskan ni. Boleh. Kita return kepada mana lah tadi. Ah ini. Tadi kita dah measure we pit to pit. We measure T. So we have measure T period frequency pit to pit. Kita ada satu lagi parameter yang, yang ada banyak lagi sebenarnya tapi this one is uh, you can measure manually. Uh, so this is uh, we call as a phase shift. So if you have a two waveform like this and then this waveform is not in phase. Waveform A and waveform B is not in phase. Phase dia tak sama. So, how to measure the different? So, the different is, ini, this is, kita panggil, uh, apa panggil tadi ya? Uh, phase, phase shift, or theta. Jadi macam mana nak kira tu? So from the oscilloscope, theta is berapa ni? How many division? 
One point. One point tengah. Maybe one point. One point four. So theta is zero point four. Sorry, one point four division. One point four division. And for t, t berapa t? Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima. Lima, this one, point five. So for uh, t is 5.5 division. If your time scale, Time scale sama dengan 1 millisecond. So T is 5.5 multiply 1 millisecond. So T is 5.5 millisecond. And for theta is 1.4 multiply 1 milli. You akan dapat 1.4 millisecond. Okay. So the problem is, the unit is in second. Okay, phase difference is normally measured in degree. 0 to 300, 360 degree, one cycle. One cycle is 360 degree. So how to convert time to 360? Macam mana tu? So for one cycle, one cycle is 360 degree. Then one cycle time is time for one cycle is one millisecond. One millisecond or five point five millisecond for one cycle is equal. 360 degree. Then you have 1.4 millisecond. So how many degree? Uh, jadi 1.4 divide by 5.5 millisecond millisecond. Kali dengan 360 lah. Tentu. 1.4 bahagi 5.5. Kita akan dapat 91.6 degree. So that is how we convert uh, uh, in time, time to degree. Ataupun you can convert this this value kepada pi. For one cycle is 2 pi normally. Pi. So for this one, how many pi? Bagi lah. 91.360 kali dengan 2 pi. So in radian lah kita panggil. In radian. 360 kali 2 kali dengan pi. Kita akan dapat 1.6. 1.6. Radian. You need the radian. In radian. This one, uh, ini unit in, in degree. Ini radian. Sama tu. Jadi kalau biasanya kalau you salah setting calculator dekat calculator you tulis R ke atas tu. Perasan tak? Jadi satu kotak kecil dia ada huruf R ataupun dia huruf D. Ha, itu maknanya degree ataupun radian. Kalau you salah pilih mode you dah pilih R 
You nak kira sin 360 degree. Ha, you tulis sin 360. Confirm jawapan you salah. Sebab you dah ambil mode uh, radian. So saya rasa, um, saya rasa, saya rasa setakat ini sahajalah suruh skop. Kita dah habis lah suruh skop ni. Jadi sajus ni saya tak masuk. Jadi apa? Ada ada apa-apa soalan tak? Tendence tak buka lagi ada. Eh, ya, tendence lupa. Tendence lupa. Baik kau cakap. Uh, accept. Uh, okay. Boleh sign sekarang. Saya saja je ni sebab ramai dah sign dia cabut lari. Okey boleh sign sekarang. Uh, saya buka beberapa minit je ni saya buka ni. Siapa yang cabut lari. Memang tak sempat. Memang Hmm, tengok 29 je. Padahal kat sini berapa attendant? Tak pergi lah. Mai rasanya. 29. Ha, tengok kat sini 47. Tapi yang respon uh, 31. Yang lain-lain tu agaknya dia on PC dia je. Dia tidur. Ada, ada. Ada eh? Ha, saya bagi masa 5 minit lagi. Minit lagi dia automatic close. Kalau yang tidur tu pergi ke mana-mana ke, pergi dapur minum air ke. Lepas lah. Di sajus tu doktor tak tahu. Puasa doktor puasa. Doktor minum air doktor. Ha? Eh, ada yang tak puasa tu. Di sajus ni uh, you baca sendirilah. Tak apa lah. Okay, ya, ada apa lagi? Tak ada dah. Okay. Okay. Ya. Um, so, uh, we finish um, finish uh, chapter of Cyberscope. So, next chapter is chapter Bridge. Okay, jumpa lagi. Uh, sekian terima kasih. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Uh, Assalamualaikum. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.